in the end of Matthew, after Jesus had died and went to the belly of the earth, people that had died in the moment, that, that had died in the recent years, they were seen walking around. I feel the presence of God so strong right now. Those dead people that had died five, ten years prior to the crucifixion, when Jesus was buried, when he gave up his spirit, those people that had died five, ten years ago, before Jesus was crucified, they were seen walking around. And people were look at the people and they're like, hey, didn't this guy die five years ago? Hey, didn't he die? It says it in the book of Matthew. Read it. That's how it's going to be. Holy Spirit, I feel you so strong right now. That's how it's going to be in the end. People that died, believers that you love, they're going to come back. That's why God says, in me there's eternal life. And that's for you too. That's not just for anybody special. And you can't fathom it, but you're like, wow, God. It's, it's a comeback. It's the comeback. The comeback. That's beautiful. The Bible says that that was a small preview of what's to come. That's why they call Jesus the first and the last. Because he's the one, Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Life started with him and it's going to end with him. As in like this life. Oh man, you got to get in with the Holy Spirit. You're missing out. But that's how it is almost every day. For me, I get these precious words from God. And I feel them. Right now, you just saw me feel God. <laughs> no words. Talk to him, seek him out. He wants to be found. I heard this on, I think, Isaiah Saldivar's podcast. He was saying, God wants you to look for him. So he plays hide and seek with you. But he sticks his foot out because he wants you to find him. It's adorable. And that's the kind of love that he has for us as children. But our own sin makes us perceive God as an enemy. Our own imperfections point out God and saying he's judging you because of your sin when that wasn't ever his original design. His original design was meant to be pure. But as human beings, we're so used to living in sin that it's insulting when somebody says otherwise. When the Creator says, hey, that's not how I intended for you to live. That's not how I intended for life to be. But since you're so used to that lifestyle, that when preaching of the truth comes, you find the truth offensive. Because that's how far we are from perfection. Jesus can make you perfect. And this life is unto perfection. We reach perfection in the next life. But we're being perfected and we come into agreement with God through Christ. When we come to Christ, we basically say, God, I agree with you on the way that you want things to go. I agree with your will. I agree to disagree with sin. Not on sin. Disagree with sin. As in you're not in agreement with sin anymore. That's, that's why God says to repent. Because when we repent, we basically tell God, God... Although I might stumble and fall into sin, I don't agree with it. I don't want nothing to do with sin. This sinful man, I'm putting it away in baptism. And I'm coming back a new man 